Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I just wanted to quickly discuss how you can find your niche. Now, what do I mean by your niche? Well, I mean a, a niche that you in particular love selling in and you are really, really interested in that niche and you can basically convert your work into a hobby. Basically, when you sell in that niche, your work doesn't actually feel like work, but it feels more like a hobby because you enjoy what you're selling so much. And that can have massive positive impacts on your business uh, in terms of just growth, scalability, um, just so much, so many positive things can come out of selling what you are interested in. And even just obviously, like I mentioned, enjoyment from your work is a big part of it if you sell what you're interested in. So how can you actually find um, a niche that you love, that you want to sell in? Well, first of all, you have to look at your hobbies and, and your interests. And obviously you can see here, I've got my sonic screwdriver. A big hobby of mine is Doctor Who. So it makes sense that I will always already have knowledge on Doctor Who and that I will love selling Doctor Who themed items. So that is definitely going to be a focus of mine going forward. Try and source more Doctor Who themed items because I'll just enjoy selling them so much more. And I have sourced Doctor Who figures and things like that in the past. Um, but I certainly feel like I want to expand that and uh, jump into it a little bit more than I have been doing because it will be a real help for my business growth in terms of um, obviously my enjoyment out of the business and um, the, amount, the amount of items that I can list because when you enjoy what you're what you're listing, you can kind of list more of them because it's such an enjoying it's such an enjoyment factor. When you're listing something you don't want to list, it feels so hard and you feel like five listings can take forever. But if you're listing something that you do want to list and that you're really, really passionate about, you can probably knock out 20 or 30 listings pretty quickly and pretty accurately as well because you have the knowledge base to back that up. So um, first off, look at your hobbies and think to yourself, right, like, what do I enjoy doing? Uh, let's say I enjoy cookery and let's say I enjoy fishing. So just two random things. So I enjoy cookery and I enjoy fishing. And I know, I, I actually own all, uh, a lot of the best brands of knives and uh, pots and pans and things like that. And I know that I didn't get them cheap. I know that they're higher end brands that are sought after. And, um, you know, I know that if I go to a car boot or let's say I go to a car boot one week just out of curiosity, I know that I can pick those up there for X amount of pounds and then what you want to do is obviously look at complete and sold on eBay and check that there is a market for maybe used items of those or if you can find them new then check that there's a market for new items of those and then you can start thinking to yourself right I can do my hobby for my job and I can sell the, this, these pans or uh, these steak knives or whatever it is um, you know, for profit, and I can get a lot of enjoyment out of that. The, the big plus is that you will already know what to look for. You will know the brands. As I've just mentioned, You, if you're into cookery, you might know all the, the different, um, you know, higher-end brands. You will probably own all of the different higher-end brands. So it's, it's quite easy to go into that and slip into that niche. Um, same with fishing. For the example about fishing, you will probably own, you know, better brand uh, fishing stuff. I don't know. I'm trying to reel off some better brand fishing equipment, but I can't really. I don't know. I, I think Shakespeare comes to mind. I don't know whether that's a better brand or not, but I'm not really into fishing. Um, but let's say you are into fishing. You you keep up to date with all the latest gear and stuff like that. And you know the brands to look out for. You know the retail prices. And you know, how. more importantly as well with fishing gear, you know how to, um, you know, maybe fix different things. Or uh, maybe you know how to assemble rods and things like this and, and deal with the items as well. Because that's another topic that I've not quite got onto is actually the specialist knowledge in fixing or dealing with 
those items. So um, someone who isn't interested in fishing, it might be a re real chore to sell fishing gear like it is for me. I mean, it is quite a chore when I'm listing things of that nature because I don't have the knowledge and if things look to be broken or don't look to be quite right, you know, like they're not working or something like that, I would find it extremely hard to go about trying to figure out what's wrong with it or if it's broken or if it's fixable. But someone who is really, really interested in fishing and more importantly uses fishing gear as a hobby, you know, goes fishing every other week or every week or whatever it is, then they're going to be able to fix them. They're going to be able to you know, know how to use them proper, properly, and more importantly as well, as I mentioned, they're going to be able to describe them thoroughly in their listings, and they're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of listing them, because they like dealing with, with, with that sort of equipment. So, basically, what you want to do to find your niche is you want, if I want to, you know, if I do some sort of conclusion here, um, you want to first off analyse your hobbies, then you want to think, right, can I pick these up from wherever it be, auctions, car boots, uh, pallet liquidators, or whatever it is, uh, charity shops, wherever it is, can I pick them up there for cheaper, and for considerably cheaper, than I can sell them for on eBay, whether that's you, new or used, obviously looking at complete and sold prices, and then you think to yourself, do I want to do this? Do I really want to do this? And if you're, if the answer is, without a doubt, yeah, I love this, I can't wait, I want to go out and buy these straight away because I can't wait to, to get involved, then that is your niche, that's the niche for you. And it's like with Doctor Who things for me, I insanely want to do that, I really, really want to do that, and I've tried sourcing them, I've had Doctor Who items before, but it is quite, I find it quite hard to source them in terms of getting the larger job lots because you know it's fine to pick up a few figures here and there and stuff and you might get a job lot down at the car boot once in a while but I do find it harder to source those bigger job lots and that's what I'm kind of trying to strive after um, but I'm always looking on eBay and other places to see if I can't get those job lots because I know that when I sell those items I can just work through them so quickly because I know all the names of the monsters. I know all the names of the doctors. I know all the names of the companions. So it's very easy for me to ID, ID the figures, get them on eBay. Uh, I can price them very, very easily as well. And obviously I can describe if there's anything missing off any of the monsters. Like sometimes you, you'll, you'll see that there's maybe a foot missing off one of the figures and things like that. And I have actually seen on eBay where there's bundles of Doctor Who figures and they've clearly got pieces missing, but because those people don't particularly know um, that they're, that creature is meant to have wings or something like that, they describe it as good use condition and they're selling it actually without, without a vital part of the figure. So yeah, it's that specialist knowledge that really does help you along the way and it makes selling such an easy task so yeah just to sum up if you if you can try and find your niche try and find the niche you enjoy selling in the most because it's only going to help you it really really is it's going to scale your business faster it's going to help your business growth and it's going to help your enjoyment of your reselling so yeah with that being said i'll leave it there guys thank you for watching and uh, yeah, I'll go and have a play around with Sonic Screwdriver. That, no, that, sound, that sounded terrible. That sounded terrible. I really should edit that out, but I'm not going to. So anyway, um, I will see you in the next one, guys. See you very soon.